Well guys, uh, just took a break from filming and I found a big ball of uh, this flint stuff. So I decided to give it a bash by breaking it up. It breaks into really sharp like blades you can use for, for cutting. But a really interesting thing happened and when I found all the pieces, if you look at it, it's got like a perfect, if I can get it to focus, look at that mark there. It's like there was something inside the rock. It's absolutely perfect. Look at that perfect rectangle shape. It looks like there was something inside it. Either it shattered out, or if you obviously if you can't see it on the camera now, I'll try and get some close-up shots when I get home. There are like little tiny crystals inside there. It's almost like there was something inside the rock when it was formed. I mean, I'm not jumping to conclusions. I'll get the other half a minute. Ah. Again, and get it to focus. Look at that, like perfect. And that bit's almost shaped. But I, I, I've been hunting, I, I broke it down there. I've been hunting to see if I can find what, what was inside. But how spooky is that? That it's like perfect, look. A perfect rectangle. I mean, I'm gonna go back and have another look. These are all the pieces I could find uh, so far, but so far I can't find anything that fits in the holes. But very, very spooky. Look how exact that is. I don't think I'm getting any closer. But proper spooky, isn't it? That would occur naturally, that shape. Anyway, I'm going to uh, go back. In fact, we'll go back now, we'll keep the camera rolling. It was down here. Oh, Jesus, it's hot today. No matter what was in there, whether it uh, obviously deteriorated, I don't know how old that rock is, but I threw it against this rock here. There's the impact mark. But I've checked, well, scoured everywhere along here. I can't find anything. Let me just adjust the camera because it's so bright out here. That's better. I've looked everywhere and I can't see it, so I'm going to keep looking. And to be fair, since there was like those little crystals inside, I think whatever was in there has obviously disintegrated, whether it be a million years old or whatever. Um, but I'm going to keep looking. At everything, <laughs> it's just all rocks everywhere. So uh, I would record, but it's easier if I've got two hands and I can keep uh, scouring. So unfortunately this is going to be covered in the tide in about two hours. Tide's coming in. So uh, I've only got one shot, if there was anything there, to find it. Very, very spooky.